Welcome to this episode of Landed Fishing. Today we're down in Delacroix, Louisiana. We're gonna do it a little differently today. Today I'm guiding. I've been guiding for the last three days here. We're gonna to continue to guide here while we're here. We have about five days and uh, catch some redfish and speckled trout. The redfish bite has been pretty darn good. It's, it's been good. We've had a lot of rain the last four or five days, but it seems like it's slowly slowing up and uh, we got some clear skies, but the temperature dropped a lot. It's pretty cool. I didn't bring winter clothes for this. I didn't expect this in late April. So stay tuned. We're gonna bring a lot of footage from uh, the customers fishing and what we do, and then give you some tips and drills and kind of what we do and ways to truly catch numbers. This is gonna be an episode about catching numbers, not about finesse fishing, not about skill fishing, about strictly going out and catching fish. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Landed Fishing. Click the subscribe button, follow us, Let's teach y'all everything you need to know how to simply fish. Yeah, they're both big. Don't pull too hard. He'll break them. Keep working them. He'll come up. He's, he's still kind of ramped up. Are you ready? Wait, that one. Straight up. Straight up. Straight, straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Nah, now go away from the hole. Go away from the hole. It's going to pop. Just, just pull straight up. Don't walk back next time. Okay, I'm ready. That one's hot. Just brought that to both hot. All right, straight up. Straight up. I got him. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> there you go. Now you're talking. Like crazy. When they get to the boat, they've been going right up underneath it. Yeah, just keep coming up on that side. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna net them as soon as they just go straight up. Don't reel anymore. I'm gonna let a little bit of line out. Let them pull a little bit. That's a pig right there. Yeah, bye bye. That's a pig right there. Uh, he's a size fish. He's the one we look at. Don't reel anymore. Always keep that core about two feet from the top when you get to the boat. Yeah. Makes it easier than that. Oh, hey, hey, I got one. All right, straighten up, straighten up, because you'll pull him in an ankle. Straighten up, straighten up. There you go, straight up. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's how it goes. Some days, some days. Alright guys, Captain Randall, Land of Fishing. Just getting back from the Louisiana trip. Over here at West Coast Marine, driving a boat off for a little more service. A couple little small things. One thing great about the Sea Pro. It's 248 I got. It's a out of stern warranty for five years. So any little knickknack stuff like that, uh, we get fully taken care of on the boat. 
So we were down to Louisiana, it rained for four or five days, and then it kind of let off after a cold front pushed through. It was a stalled cold front sitting over the top of us. So we used the same rig the whole time, and because of that, we had a lot of wind, so we had a lot of dirty water. So the best way to catch the numbers in that way is to start chumming. So we were chumming a lot, little bit, a lot of dead shrimp, not really live shrimp or anything like that, something that's oiled to it to build up kind of a chum on them. Chum a couple times, and then these redfish would come pull into our area. And the best way to catch them when you're in that situation where you don't affect them, other than throwing plastics and stuff like that, is to throw a popping cord. If you throw plastics, they're gonna feel you on top of them moving around. You gotta move around and sight cast and stuff like that, or blind cast. Um, so we threw a popping cork in, same thing that we were chumming with dead shrimp on the jig head. We ran, we, my favorite popping cork is gonna be the boat monkey float. I think it has the best sound for the shrimp that pop in Louisiana. It, it really mimics that sound really, really well. Got high water, it's a little different scenario. Usually you can still run an 18, 24 inch leader. You just have to get closer to the, the banks. So did that, and then we also run the boat monkey jig head, which is a, a, a kale hook, basically, quarter ounce kale hook um, design. So works out really, really good. Um, we use medium heavy rods from Reaper rods with the 4,000 with the power handle. Power handle is, is really beneficial down in, in Louisiana when you fish these redfish. Um, you want to catch numbers of redfish, dirty water, anything like that. If you don't like fishing, you know, dead shrimp, then throw a gulp. I, I like the new penny with chartreuse tail, you know, any kind of natural color. Put your gulp on that jig head and throw it, and you're going to get the same results. Check it all out in the bottom. Subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll bring you more from Louisiana. We're back here in, in Tampa right now shooting a couple episodes, and then we'll be right back to Louisiana. And we'll do something a little different, because by the time we get back down there, it's going to be May. And May and June is going to be a lot of sight fishing, which I know a lot of people like. It's, it's, it's literally hunting redfish. And that's, if you like the hunt, you'll like these sight fishing episodes. You'll see some really cool blow-ups, really good cool eats. Uh, we'll make sure we got our A-game on, got the right weather and, and right cameras up so we can get this done for y'all to show y'all some really cool stuff. It's probably the biggest growing sport in all of saltwater fishing is these, these redfish tournaments and this shallow water redfish and stuff. So stay tuned and please subscribe to Land of Fishing TV.